Hello and welcome to iForge Ahead. In this tutorial we're going to cover data management which is initially setting up your database when you first start using the iForge Ahead system. I'm going to begin by logging in and this is the process that you will follow in your initial login the first time you get into the system after your registration has been established. From the login screen you'll enter your username and password. And when you get in, instead of going to the normal home page, you will be at this data management page. And the reason is because the system needs to know how to set up your database. During the registration process, you had to answer a question of whether or not you were a previous Forge Ahead user. And if you answered yes to that question, you will have this second option here that allows you to migrate your Forge Ahead data into the iForge Ahead system. Your other option is to start with an empty data file. If you selected no to being a prior Forge Ahead user, your only option will be to click the build empty data file. We're going to start with that one, but I wanted to make you aware that during the trial process of iForge Ahead, you're able to reset your database at any time. So you could start with an empty data file and you might enter some pretend information that's not really related to your actual business but you're just entering data to give the system a try and see how it works. And let's say you do that for a couple weeks and then you're ready to continue with the system and you want to enter your real data. You will have the option to delete your current data and come back to this screen and either build an empty file or migrate your Forge Ahead data. So again, during the trial period, you can reset your database at any time. Once the trial period is over, that option goes away, and that's to protect your data. So we'll begin by selecting Build an Empty Data File. And that process doesn't take too long, but once you click that, you'll need to wait, and you can tell that it's done when it, the screen flashes and rebuilds. And you can verify that it's done by clicking on the Home button. If it takes you to the home screen, then your empty database has been set up. If you go into Contacts, you'll find that you don't have any contacts, and you just basically have a few starter records in your settings. You'll see that your drop-down lists are mostly empty, but we have populated one city, and that's the city that you use during your registration. We also have a few standard um, people types, um, phone types, and things like that. But you can come in here and add or edit your value lists at any time. So now that you've built your empty data file, you're welcome to go wherever you want in the program and start working with data. Let's say you've done that for a while and now you want to reset your database. Again, this option is only available during the trial period, but you can wipe out the data that you've put in so far and start again. You'll do that by going to Settings and then to My Account Settings. From this page, you'll select this last option that says Delete All Data, and that option is only visible during the trial period. Once we select that option, we have a button over here, and we'll click that. And of course, with any decision that's as big as wiping out all your data, we're going to ask you to confirm that. This is not something that we can recover for you. So you want to make sure that you're not doing this accidentally, and you will lose everything you've put into the system by proceeding. We'll click OK. Now the data has been deleted and we're forced back to this screen again. And we won't be able to go any farther until we either rebuild a blank data file or migrate your Forge Ahead data. When we click on Migrate Your Forge Ahead Data, we're taken to a new screen that has a data migration wizard. There are about three or four steps to migrating your data and the wizard will walk you through them. I'm not going to cover them in detail, in the tutorial as they are fairly uh, self-explanatory. This process will take um, you know, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes depending on your internet connection and the size of your data file. 
So before you begin the data migration wizard, you'll want to make sure that you have your Forge Ahead data either in a backup file or on your live computer that uses Forge Ahead. And you'll need to make sure that you have enough time to complete it. Again, allow about 15 to 20 minutes. That concludes our data management tutorial for iForge Ahead. Thank you so much.